Well, Sue, thank you so much for being here. And I have to thank you for writing this wonderful book for moms. In it, you talk about replacing our anger with God's love. And that topic in particular really resonates because of the ministry that I do with moms. And also from my personal experience, you know, that the doctor places that baby in our arms and we just think like this perfect little bundle of joy, how, how can they ever push us to the edge of our sanity <laughs> and test our limits and that, and that anger just rises up that really can catch us off guard. So can you talk to us a little bit about how, what experiences, <laughs> what experiences have you had? Because you have six children, I so do. you know about this topic. I do. And I, I know that this is a topic that many of us have struggled with. Mm -hmm. And the thought life that happens in your mind when you do cross a line. Yeah. I remember one day, my daughter, she just spilled grape juice on the floor. No big deal. Right? I mean, really. Except that it is. <laughs> well, and no, I just not... mopped the floor. Yeah, of so course. I right. lost it with anger. Mm -hmm. And so I roughly after yelling at them, mm. put them in the car, headed to somebody else's church. We were pastors, but I went yeah. to a Saturday night service. Sure. Right. And all the way there, I feel like the most horrible mom. Mm. I feel like I've blown it. Yeah. I feel like it's not the first time. Right. And I feel like, how can I ever control this? So I was desperate for change. Right. And I dropped the children off at childcare, okay. and then here I was holding grape juice in my hand for communion. Oh, right. And I felt like the worst mom in the world. Oh, my goodness. And mm. I'm, I'm halfway shaking, but from the pulpit, the pastor began to say, you know, I believe there's somebody here that you feel like you can't change. Yeah. But yeah. God sent his son, mm. and he died for you. Mm and you are able to change. Right. And it was in that moment, I think this, this book was birthed okay. because I heard God say to me, I felt like the worst mom in the world. Sure, we've all been there. He said to me, you're the best mom in the world for your children. That's right, handpicked by him. Handpicked. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the things is that we can change. There's so much hope there and just in those words. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about starting to make those changes? I think the first thing is realizing you have a, a problem. Okay. And bringing it into the light. Mm -hmm. So it's, sometimes it's those little moments of you're the one that needs to be put in time out. Right, sure, <laughs> take a step back, take a break. Yes, take a step back, take a break. I think I used to even call my husband okay. if he was away at work mm -hmm. and ask him to pray for me or bring it up at the supper table. Right. And the more that I brought it out in the light, mm -hmm. the more that I found the power to change. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so, you know, another thing too, I think is, is when we do lose it on our kids that we ask for forgiveness from them if we have acted improperly. Mm -hmm. Have you found that also to be effective in, in just bonding that relationship with a child? You know, mommy messed yes. up and I'm so sorry. Yes. There's a phrase that some moms use, you know, I need a do-over. Mm -hmm. And I like that. I didn't yes. use that, but I like that because it's giving the child permission that they can have a do-over. Right. That they don't have right. to get things perfectly. Mm -hmm. And it's coming to that realization. And for me, the, the time that I knew I had to change yeah. was during potty training. Oh, no. Did you have a hard potty trainer? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Absolutely. And I that remember. That can really test you. It can. Mm -hmm. And my husband had just gone out of town, and my daughter had messed her pants the yeah. fourth time. Yeah. And I'm pulling down her pants. Uh-huh. And I scream. And there was a mirror, and I looked, oh. and I saw my face. Mm. It was angry, right? and it was red, mm -hmm. and I realized that was the face my child was seeing. Yeah. And it was a heart conviction that, that God never treats me that way. Right. God never looks at me with anger. Mm -hmm. He never screams at me. Mm -hmm. And it was um, a place of repentance. Right. Yeah. 
So would you take a minute and look into the camera and just minister to that mom out there who is just really feeling overwhelmed as a mom with all of the many demands and you know moms mm -hmm. don't get a lot of break time and quiet time and that just minister to her heart and where she is today. Well, I know that, that God sees right where you are. And first I wanna say, as you come to him, you're forgiven. Mm -hmm. You're imperfect, but he's the only perfect one. And I wanna say that there's hope to change too. And so if you feel like you're losing it, if you feel like you're going in cycles and, and it's, it's the same cycle over and over again, God's forgiveness doesn't run out. Mm. His forgiveness never fails. But more than that, His grace will help you. And so the first thing I pray for you is that you would have confidence that you can overcome the cycle of anger mm -hmm. and that His love can fill you in such a way that His love will overflow mm -hmm. into your child's life. So receive His love so that you can give it to your child. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you talk about God's love and grace because we are not in this alone. God never meant for us to parent alone. He really is there. He is, he's partners with us on this journey and where we lack and where we fall short, his grace is sufficient to fill those gaps and um, just so thankful for God's love and his grace. So thank you again so much for being here and for having this very important conversation today.